As photographers, we sometimes get stuck. We keep going over what, where, and how to adjust our edits to truly show the emotions we want clients to experience when they first lay eyes on our photos. If you ever felt stuck and indecisive while editing your photos, then this video's for you. I'm Helena, and today we're diving into two things you always need to keep in mind when editing, the technique you use and the external help you can get in order to save time. And let's be honest, as photographers, we all encounter moments of doubt. We wonder, what adjustments will truly capture the essence of this moment? How can I ensure the viewer feels what I felt when I took this photo? So today, we're going to talk about practical strategies that will help you through the editing process so that you can showcase your unique perspective. First, let's bust this myth. There is no definitive right or wrong way to edit a photo. Each of us has a distinct style and vision. Embrace it. The crazy thing about editing is that it lets us breathe life into our photographs in so many ways. So have faith in your vision. Now let's dive into the practical steps that will provide you with clarity and purpose. Ensuring your edits showcase exactly with what you want to say through that photo. Firstly, consider the core emotions you wish to show through your photography. Is it serenity, excitement, or nostalgia? Define this emotional anchor to guide your editing decisions and then apply this to your exposure, color, and cropping. How? Let's talk about technique. Let's start with one of the fundamental aspects of editing. Exposure. Exposure isn't just about brightness. It dictates the entire mood of your photograph. Take a well-exposed image, for example. It has a clean effect, perfect for serene landscapes or portraits that capture a sense of calm. On the flip side, an underexposed shot has mystery and drama. It adds depth, pulling the viewer into a world of shadows and contrasts. The beauty of editing lies in its ability to change not just the visual elements, but the emotional impact of your photos. With a twist of the exposure slider, you can turn a sunny day into a sunset romance or transform a bustling cityscape into a quiet moment. All right, let's dive into the juicy stuff. Color. Just like exposure, color is like the mood ring of your photo. It sets the vibe and totally shifts how your audience feels about what they're seeing. Picture this, vibrant colors are like a party in your photo. They scream energy and excitement, making everything pop on the screen. On the flip side, muted colors are the chill vibes. They bring a sense of calm and reflection, kind of like soft music playing in the background. They tone down the noise and let subtle details shine through, perfect for those intimate portraits or dreamy landscapes. Whether you're going bold with vibrant hues or keeping it soft with muted tones, each color choice shapes the story your photo tells. Colors aren't just colors. They're the soul of your photo, so make sure you play around and experiment until you find your style. Cropping can dramatically change the essence of your photo too, turning a good shot into a great one. By repositioning your cuts, you can shift the focus to a new subject, alter the composition, and transform the narrative of the image. Remember, one precise cut can change the whole story of a frame. Don't forget about creative cropping techniques. You can create a sense of depth by cropping to include leading lines that draw the viewer's eye into the scene. Lastly, think about the emotional impact of your crop. Tight crops can create intimacy and connection with the subject, while wider crops can convey a sense of space and context. Experimenting with different cropping strategies can help you discover new ways to tell your story and evoke the desired emotional response from your clients. Now let's move on to the second thing you should try when editing. We all know that AI is now part of photographers' workflow, whether it's used in Lightroom, Photoshop, or even a software that does the editing for you. As Aftershoot, AI is here to stay and we need to embrace it. So in this case, let's explore some specific AI features that have made a huge impact on our editing process. First, AI masking allows on-point selection of elements within an image. It's incredibly efficient, ensuring precise edits without too much manual effort. 
Another powerful tool is AI-generated skies. And you might say this isn't authentic, but when nature decides to give you a cloudy sky on the day of a bride's wedding, you have to come with alternatives in order to have a happy bride. Lastly, you can ask AI to remove unwanted details in the background. We all know how we can't control what might appear in the background of our subject. In this case, this AI feature ensures your main subject remains the focal point with clean and fast results. These AI features not only streamline workflow, but also increase creative possibilities. They help photographers achieve distinct looks and guide viewer attention precisely as intended. And let's be honest, embracing AI doesn't diminish artistic control. Rather, it expands our toolkit and opens doors to new creative ideas. It's about leveraging technology to tell the story we want to tell. With a clear idea of what techniques to use and with the help of AI, you can get over that creative block. Now that you've seen how these techniques can transform your photos, why not give them a try in your next project?